so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? So many women, baby, why you making it? All right, let's be real here. Welcome to the Burning Mouse channel. I hope that you sub immediately. I hope you sub immediately. And don't do drugs and don't drink alcohol and hit the bell and sub to my old lady's channel, which is way too fly, which is way too fly. Listen, Tory Lanez, good Amish boy. <laughs> he, dro he drops a song. What was the name of the song? It was you know, he drops a song and he, he, he basically they're saying it was a Meek Mill diss, but he was basically saying Meek Mill hurt his villains, pretty much what he was saying. Mm. And they're trying the blogs are trying to say that he was talking about Megan and you know he gets in trouble if he does that. So they're trying to push it like he was talking about Megan, which I kinda of think everybody knows he was, but still, don't push that out, Mr. Boy. Case up, bro. Yeah. And I don't like the fact that he's gag ordered like that. It's like he he's a artist where he gets his material from what's going on. Yeah. So when you hold him like that, you basically tell him you can't make money. Yeah. You can't do music. Well, it's more so, um, uh, and we experience this in our everyday life. You know, we have people that go out of their way <laughs> to uh, uh, solicit a response out of us every day. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And so... Tory Lanez is a person where artists aside, he's still a human being. He's still a man. You know, he has technically still the right to speak. Um, but, you know, with the gag order, I'm guessing in, re in response to the case, I think it's whack. Um, you know, truth be told, Megan, go, go to bed. Like, girl, you're not frightened by this man. You At all. You're not frightened by what he say. Good Amish boy, man. He's it's a good just, guy, man. Can we? Can we just? Just a little spicy. Take us along. I'm, I'm just like at this point, what is taking? Yes, bring on the water. Like, Why? Well, <laughs> who did it, bro? Like, that's why I just want to go up to the judge and just be like, "Just tell what happened." Right. I'm sick of this. Why are we going at the motion after motion? Do you think he shot this girl? Yeah. Or is there evidence to support that he did? That, yeah, that he didn't. Because why are you? We're talking. About. Even if he comes out and he's cleared in another two years, you took four years from an artist, bro. Yeah. Most artists don't have a two-year run, especially in today's climate with how acceleratory social media is and how the record labels are, you know, formatting in a way where they have to stream like they're YouTubers or stream like they're TikTokers or Twitch streamers. I mean, everything is moving so fast. So him taking this time to address something that's kind of, I mean, I feel like at this point it's close. Like right? we, 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 the people feel he didn't do it. So you, unless know, you guys can say that he did just go and tell leave him. him alone, bro. And leave him alone. It's like it's getting to the point where, you know, I, I've been taking a deeper dive into Tory stuff. Tory is a extremely talented dude, bro. Yeah. He's extremely talented. He does not have a history of of battering women. Yeah. From my understanding. Because if he did it, all of it would have came out. Oh yeah. You know, he doesn't have a history of abusing like women. The Trey Song thing happening right now. Right. They saying Trey Song did all this stuff, which he looked like he spiked me up to do that. Yeah. But we I, he doesn't have a history of this. So it's like all of a sudden, he messes with Meg the Stallion and then just turns into a woman, a beater, accuser, and shooter in just two months. Like, it just doesn't seem realistic. My biggest thing is this. And this is to the ladies. Y'all y'all help me out with this. Because a lot of y'all still think that a loss is a win. And those are the people that are really horrible in life. If you win it, Meg, win. What what does this have to do? See, my thing is, why does this have to extrapolate across all areas of someone's life? Y'all going, y'all both are going through this case, and technically, she's not the. Mm, keep me on. Technically, she's not the. Um, she's not the victim. It's almost like I mean, she's the victim, but it's like it's not like she's doing it. It's like the state is pushing this and and all this other stuff or whatever. But my biggest thing is, like, 
y'all went through this you're going through this why is it okay that you're living your life you're getting awards you're graduating college you're doing your music you're doing this stuff where is the hatred at where he can't do what he needs to do as a man because somebody said doesn't he have kids yeah i'm believe tori has it's kids. like wh- okay i don't know how many yeah it's like this man has to work too like y'all both are going through it it, it, Y'all both are not, obviously you both are not damaged by this to the emotionally point, right. to the point where Cause y'all you still can't perform and you can't do what you're supposed to do. So what is this really about? Like when you really break it down. It's about he didn't pick her. <sighs> That's what it's about. Man. He wanted to go with the friend and she, it's one of the things where you don't pick me. I'm a, I, listen, I know. I know what it is. $12,622 Houston Texas. I know what it is, bro. Listen. You didn't pick her and she mad, bro. And then and what as a Houston chicks MO is, it's a long drawn out process of you going through BS because you didn't choose me. How dare you? It's disgusting, bro. If it comes out that he didn't shoot her, it should. I want to see the ban her from festival campaign like y'all did, Tori. If it comes out that way. Yeah, because, well, that's why I like to look at it from, let's look at it from what it can be and what it might be. It could be it did happen. You know, I I look at things as I don't trust nothing. After I seen that documentary where those two professionals that were in the drug unit cases remember right. they were in boston they were smoking they were a drug they were supposed the drugs, to be testing and they were tampering with the criminal cases that involved drug use and you know they became drug addicts themselves so i don't anything is possible so anyone could tamper with the evidence or lean it to her side or whatever we don't know people money law and things like that happen my issue more so is okay if he doesn't if he didn't do it are you prepared to do the honorable thing, which would be because he's still a man and most men operate on the premise of this publicly apologize, admit you're wrong. Like don't want your money. Don't want you to suffer because they're still a good guy at the end of the day. But are you willing to publicly apologize, say that you were wrong, take full accountability verbally? I don't think you want to do it. I don't think that's the sad part about today's woman. Most men don't want nothing from you. They really just want you to go away. Just take the loss and go. That's what I meant by prostitutes. But you in this predicament that you're in speaks to your character. Your character shows now you're with party. You, you've moved on. You've, you moved on, <laughs> you know, what you, you can't be this mad too much time has passed. So if this is about ultimately he chose someone else, whatever, we weren't there. The truth about it is now what? You've risked your livelihood just as much as he did. Because people could have immediately start the process of what they did to him. It could have happened that way. It could have been, you know what? No, we're tired of hearing another woman just flat out you know saying whatever because if you remember if you remember this she said the reason why she did initially said that tori shot her was because she was scared that they were going to kill them both she was like you know the cops were there so i didn't really want to say anything because i was scared that something might happen i remember that now it has trickled down to where you didn't know of course how things work or you've never been in a high profile gun case yourself so you looked at it as okay well it looks like he's going to get it because that's what public opinion shows but now as we devil into this it, and dive into, it just doesn't look good so what happens now meg like meg i just hope i really hope i do i hope that you got that you know that that southern raise right india to just admit she don't <laughs> it's from houston you already know what it is the hot bubbling mess and um she did that to that boy for no reason and and until they show me the video he ain't do it bro. that's how i look at it yeah and my thing is like wow. well, what happens if it, what happens if it comes out the girlfriend did it I think that he should sue Meg the Stallion for uh for loss of wages and damages and stuff. He should sue her. But I mean, like, what do women, if it comes out that the girlfriend did it, 
let's just say the girlfriend did it and Megan is protecting the girlfriend. Ladies, how should we proceed? Where's the girl code in this? There is no girl code. There's no girl code. There's never, if any man has ever been over the home girl house and, and, and got a, a touch on the shoulder too long, there is no girl code. That, that's <laughs> a, the, see, that's not believe in myths. That's a myth. They is out, forget what you can get, sell the cheeks in the street. I don't care what no one say. She needs to be sued. She needs to be financially liable to every single show he could not go up to. It should be tallied up and she should be forced to pay. Yeah. She should be forced to pay if it does come out that if he's if he's considered innocent. That's how I feel about like with child support cases. Right. You know, that whole black China thing. <laughs> At that moment when she revealed that... They should have sued her for slander. Yeah, slander, uh, basically defamation. Right, all um, of the nations. They, yeah, they should have definitely just went for uh, primary and sole custody of their children. Because uh, the thing that w no one mentioned was that she didn't deny it. She did not deny she never said what they, they said. Were lying. Yeah, that was she the part. She said, of "Hey, man, I try to slip it in. You got me. Right? <laughs> I try to get sympathy, guys. But at least the blogs are talking about me again. So. That means that they are watching her like yes, a hawk. Because you, you got to watch her. She wanted to be one of them uncles, one of them cousins that steal. And your grandma <laughs> tell you, watch her when she come over. You know she steal. It's like the notification was on for right, that. Right, right, right. What, Jimmy? <laughs> no, don't let him go down there by himself, but he get his stealing stuff. You better keep you, you better keep your money in your bra. Right. I think it's just a hot I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on this because I think it's a hot coon jigaboosh atrocity. Yeah. I think it's an obvious show that when you get to a certain point you can't be around other Negroes. You can't do it because something like this will happen, mess your money up. You know, if he would just went over there and chill with Jaden Smith, he'd been Gucci. But it is what it and it also shows that being spicy and what I mean by being spicy, being sexually promiscuous does not help you. Yeah. It does not help you in this day and age when it's so many ways for people to sue you. You showing them your genitals is just the best way for them to get you. Yeah. So it shows that if you just live a little bit more modest lifestyle, and I'll put it this way. If Tori was in a monogamous relationship, this would never happen. Yeah. He would have been home. Yeah. Or he would have been with his other person. You'd have been like Toby. But, you know, you think, oh, well, I'm good. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to live the rock star lifestyle. The rock star lifestyle costs money, time, litigation, stress. And that's why they all, that's why all these rock stars look a mess by 40. And it's really a shame because he really didn't do nothing wrong. He's not obligated to either one of the ladies. Um, he was having a good time. He ain't hurt nobody. He ain't beat nobody. He didn't get nobody no STD. He didn't rape no one. Everything was consensual. So unfortunately, he was he's just, not he was, wrong in this matter. It's just he that he was just marketing his chunky butter, man. Know. He was just letting. It, he was tender. He was tender dinging. That's all he was doing. He was. Well, any tw how old is story? I'm gonna say he's definitely in his twenties. Any twenty mid twenty year old dude with millions of dollars and a lot of influence gonna do. He going to slap that thing. But my thing is, dude, it's these days you better off hitting regular chicks if you're a star. Yeah. Gee, you want to hit someone. Lucy said. Right. Lucy said, I'm going to hit the Waffle House chick. Hit a chick with no PR go, company. Going to, like, go to get her CNA. Right. Well, why, why, why can't someone go in the CNA? Like, <laughs> like Kodak but she got said, a good heart. Kodak was like, go ahead and get your nursing license. <laughs> I'm pushing it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel. I ain't going to spend too much time on this. Because like I said, it's jigabooing. That's all it is. It's flat back Hollywood jigabooing. That's what that's my stakes in on this. The only thing and it that, is what it is. The only thing I if I was Meg, if I was in Meg's company, like if I was legit her friend, like she called me, like she go in the bathroom, like, yo, he all up in Kylie face. He was just with me last night. He wasn't I mean, He was all up in that. <laughs> yo, I'm about to spaz out. I just said, listen, check it. Get in the car. I'm going to go. I'm going to come pick you up. And we going, we going, we going, we going to reassess later. See, as a friend or people that love you and care about you, they be with you in the moment, but it's always to redirect you to get back to reality. She don't have nobody in her corner besides party that we seen when he kicked down the door to, to get her from a whole bunch of uh, ragamuffins, but she doesn't have anybody that says, you know what, I know how you are as a person, and I know that you really don't understand the consequences of your decisions, so I'm going to just 
we're going to be in a moment, but then I'm going to, we're going to go get some tacos. Like, she should have just went home. Or she should have just stayed and let him do his thing, whatever. Or not been a hot Houston raggedy freaking mess. She gets no sympathy. <laughs> Put her in jail. Next question. Oh, so bad, y'all. <laughs>